Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee and Games. I'm excited to have you here today where we are playing another game of Marvel Champions. Now, quick note, I do think in the next week or so, we're going to play something different. Um, I'm really itching to play something different. So, uh, um, you know, I, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but just, you know, FYI. Also, hopefully you grabbed your coffee. Hopefully you're ready for this morning playthrough. I have tea. I, am, I have a head cold. I am very stuffed up. I've, I've had this cold for like a week or so, two weeks now. It's killing me, but... We'll get through it. So if you hear me all congested, that's why. Uh, but today we are doing uh, Colossus. We're playing as Colossus Protection. And if you check out the deck list, either at the top of the chat, if you're watching this, the premiere live, or if you check it out um, down in the description, you'll see it's like barely a protection deck and it'll make more sense once you check it out. Um, but yeah, it's it's basically protection to get him tough. And we're going against Mojo, who I'm kind of excited for because it's been a little while since I played them. I played a lot of him when he first came out and I kind of took a break. So I'm excited for that. So before we jump into the table and jump down, uh, do me a huge favor. Make sure you hit a uh, like if you're watching this live. If you watch this later on, hit like as well. Subscribe, leave a comment in the chat. Say hi. I'll say hi back. I appreciate you all being here. Um, and then finally, go hit the join button. Just check it out. See if any of those uh, uh, monetary uh, tiers interest you. Uh, you know, all that stuff really helps out the channel. It really helps me out. Um, and, you know, it's just starting at 99 cents a month. You get the badges and emotes that I'm sure you've seen either in the, the comments or in the chat, right? You can use them in either place. Um, so definitely check that out. And, and the other tiers get you other benefits. So, <laughs> excuse me. Let's pop down to the table and let's get things set up. So, with Mojo, you get uh, to choose two modular sets from his. And I chose sci-fi and fantasy because I like sci-fi and fantasy books. So, I decided why not. Now the spinning wheel is in play. This is where it looks like in case you're curious. And then we have to draw one out of random for um, sci-fi sci -fi and uh, whatchamacallit, fantasy to put in to the deck. So we will do the bottom one, which is fantasy. All right. So we define the environment, a game of mojos. Each player gets plus one hand size. Oh, let's go. That's actually a good one for us. Um, when we reveal, discard each other's setting in the play. If this card it was revealed from the encounter deck, it gains search. It was not revealed from the encounter deck, um, so it does not gain search. Um, but also the boost icon is out there, so that's less good. But we do get a plus one hand size, each player. So it's, it's ultra ego and hero, which is really nice. This actually could help out. I forgot that that's what that was. Interesting. All right, so he's all shuffle up, ready to go. This starts off with 10, this starts off with uh, 16. Shuffle our card. And I'm a little worried about this because like I said, I haven't done classes in a while and it's been a it's been a hot minute since I've played him. And I remember thinking he was okay. But Mojo's got a lot of threat going on. So I need the card that gives me plus one threat or plus one thwarting. Um, that would be a really great card to get right out of the gate. So let's hope. <laughs> All right, so we get seven hand size. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each player. Yeah, each player gets a hand size. That's crazy. All right. So we have a double, a double, a steel fist, brotherhood of a do. Titanium muscles gives us the attack. Armor up and bulletproof protector. So bulletproof protector is really good for if we flip up. Armored up is pretty much useless right now. Brotherhood, I'm not going to worry about. The muscles, yes. Steel fist, no. And yes to the doubles, because I'm hoping I still pull a gray card. There's a lot of gray cards in this deck. So I'd be kind of shocked if the next three cards aren't gray, or at least one of them. One, two, three. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not quite what I was thinking, but okay. All right, now we have to look for um, organic steel. There we go. Hmm. Okay, so we get the plus one attack, which is fine, and we can use it to generate resources as well, which is also fine. So let us flip up. So there's nothing alter ego we have to worry about here. So let's drop our double. I'm sorry, we get a tough status for flipping up before I forget. Let's drop our double. Where did that go? Three, four, five, six. Wait, did I just throw away a double for no reason? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. 
I don't know why I just threw that away for, for literally no reason. <laughs> um, okay, so we're, yeah, we're throwing away our double. Probably because I was thinking halfway through what I was planning to do. And put titanium muscles into play. All right, cool. Then we can use Bulletproof Protector to remove a tough status and then put two on. So we're going to do that because then we can exhaust this card. We also get plus one attack before I forget. Exhaust this card to generate two fist resources, which we'll use for organic steel. So solid. Actually, do we even want to do that? Let's think about that for a second. No, yeah, I guess so. Oh boy. This leaves us with a weird hand. Well, what we could do is we could throw away Ready to Rumble, put the studio into play. We'll probably hold on to the great double, but we'll get rid of invulnerability. Um, I didn't want to do the studio before because I want to make sure I had the cards I wanted. So three damage is what we'll do for now. Throw this away and then we'll ready up. So the bright side though, we do get five cards. So two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. All right. So one goes on to here. He's going to attack. We're just going to take this hit to the face. That's fine. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I have to do. I have to do my hero thing. One, two. I have to discard uh, three cards from the encounter deck and place one threat for each one that's not Mojo related. So two of them are not Mojo related. So he's up to thirteen. My bad. I I have to I have to remember that. That does not belong to Mojo, right? Yeah, it does not belong. Okay. So now he's gonna do damage to me. So that's one, two, three. We get rid of Paparazzi, which is nice. So it knocks off a tough. But then we can exhaust organic steel to put a tough back on. Yay. All right. And our bad card, Director's Directions. Uh, Mojo Schemes. Spend two different resources. Take one damage for each threat on your identity. If you have less than threat, take two damage. This card gains Surge. I don't want to take the damage. Oh, I was supposed to add one, but that doesn't really matter. I'm going to let him scheme, actually. So two, reveal this card. Okay, shoot. This might not have been the best choice. So it's up to 15. Move all threat to the character. There is none. Uh, if no threat was moved this way, place one threat on each character you control. So we just get to put one threat onto us. So let's remember that. If I flip back down, that's that's will be an issue. All right. Let's do a great double to play Utopia. Let's do... All right, I'm going to I'm going to throw away a double to play steel fist. So we're going to do 5 damage to him. Um which he's down to 13, so it puts him at 8, right? 2 4 6 8. Now, we get to stun and confuse him if we remove a tough card, which is what we're going to do. Uh we can't replace it cuz that's exhausted. So we get to stun and confuse that enemy, which is really nice. We are then going to exhaust titanium muscles to generate one resource because we have one tough to play unshakable. So we have steady at least now, which is nice. I'm going to th thwart the one off. Right? I'm going to play a little, a little safe on this. And then I will flip down. So we lose our tough. And the one goes on to there. And then we will ready up and we draw our seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know like you should probably stay up longer, but oh we could do armored up. Well no, we can't. Oh, bulletproof protector, steel fist. Alright, this isn't too bad. Alright. I know you want to like wait until you lose all your toughs to go down, but the, if I'm doing my deck right, I should never lose a tough. And again, we kind of need cards, so. Uh so I'm on ultra ego side, so I don't have to do the hero response. Hopefully I didn't miss that. Um, I think I think he's only done one thing so far, so. Alright, so one went on there. He's confused, so nothing happens there. And then we get our bad card, which is uh the villain schemes. Less ideal. So two, three, four. He schemes four. So that's already up to 20 already. Not great. Okay. 
Now it's my turn. Um, let's actually hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna exhaust the studio to discard cards until a Colossus card is discarded. So it goes Polaris, X Mansion, Night Nurse, Ugh, Professor X, a double, Death Focus, holy cow, come on. Invulnerability, uh, made of rage. Not really what we wanted. All right, but that's all right. So let's flip up. Let's put our tough status on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Interesting. All right. So I think what we will do. Is we'll use bulletproof protector to remove a tough status and then we get to add on two. So we have two. I think I want to exhaust uh, titanium muscles to generate a fist resource or, or I'm sorry, it generates two because of two, um, two tough status cards on it. So we get to deal five damage to the enemy, four, five, and then we could stun and confuse the enemy. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do that. All right, let's do, let's throw away Ray the Rumble to put, uh, to use Limitless, uh, not yet, sorry, not we're not that far yet, jeez. All right, we'll get rid of Ready the Rumble to put in Endurance, guess it's more life, I don't know, maybe that's useful. I feel like we need to thwart one off of here, I need to control that a bit. We can then throw away Armored Up to play Limitless Stenema to ready ourselves up, and I'm going to thwart another one off. Gosh, it feels like such a waste, but I need my plus one thwart card. That's what I really need. Um, I don't know if Made of Rage is going to make sense right yet because the plus six attack isn't super useful and I'm not ready to flip him particularly yet. So I'm going to dump Made of Rage. I'm going to hold on to the gray double just in case. We can ready up, draw our cards. We have to do that. So one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got some big cards here because getting Nick Fury with the double, we should be able to do and draw three cards. So that should be really helpful. So this, we have to do one, two, three, not Mojo. All right, fantasy, standard, fantasy. So we put three thread on. Ugh. Two, three. Okay. So now one goes on like normal. He is stunned, so he doesn't attack us, which is somewhat useful. And assault. Hey, the villain attacks you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to take the hit. That's fine. So it's going to be one, two, plus nothing. We get rid of the other assault, which is nice. So we lose a tough. And then I'm going to exhaust organic steel to put another tough back on. And then we can throw away organic steel because we used all the tough. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So the reason this is important is because we can use the gray double and exhaust titanium muscles to generate four resources total to play Nick. Let's just draw three cards. Oops. One, two, three. Nice. Shadow Cat's really nice. Now. All right. Actually, right before we did that. I should have done this slightly differently. Yeah, it's going to be a little less efficient than I want to be. I thwarted. Um, now, after an uh, X-Men ally enters play, exhaust Utopia. Oh, he's not X-Men. That's why that doesn't matter. So I don't have to worry about that. Never mind. He's not X-Men. I'm thinking way ahead. So I drew three cards. That's fine. Nick is in. Okay. The problem is... I need to get Shadow Cat in, but I can't. So, well, well, we're going to. All right. Um, but I can't get Iron Will in, which is the rough part. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna thwart one. I am gonna do that. Then we're gonna throw away Made of Rage, Invulnerability, and Ready to Rumble to play Shadow Cat. After doing so, Utopia lets me ready myself up. Okay. At least we have the ability to thwart a decent amount now. That is helpful. All right, so Nick Fury's going to thwart two. One, two. Shadowcat 
is going to thwart two as well. One, two. Keep that down just a little. I do need to get Iron Will in. But that's not going to happen yet. X-Jet doesn't make sense completely, so we're probably going to chuck that. But Iron Will, we do have to get in. So we're going to dump X-Jet, hold on to Iron Will. And, oh, we still get to thwart for another one. I'm not ready to flip him just yet, so that's why I'm thwarting, like, so slowly. And then we're ready up. So one, two, three, four, five, because of this. And then we have to do this. So we discard our top three cards. One, two, three. And then we do have to get ready to, like, go soon mojo 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 okay they're all mojo so that's nice all right we have iron will limitless stamina organic steel which is really good because we do need that and then limitless stamina okay cool so one goes on to here he's gonna attack and nick fury's gonna take this so give me one two three damage to nick fury knocks him out which is good because we're gonna be getting nick fury back soon and then we get our bad card which is a hey, goblin surges um, this minion can only take damage from cards with a printed, uh, fist resource. And he gets a one defeated, remove two threat from a scheme, which is really nice. And then supporting actor, less nice. After supporting actor activates against you, place two threat here, which is less good, right? That's actually a really bad card. So we have to get rid of that card as soon as possible. Ideally. <laughs> All right. So... What we could do is exhaust titanium muscles to generate two resources to put in iron will. This gives us the plus one threat removal, which is really nice. Oh boy. Organic steel would be really good. It is the smart play. But the problem is... I can't I would like to use limitless stamina to knock out supporting actor like as, as soon as humanly possible. So I'm going to do 3 damage to supporting actor. And I think we're going to flip over anyway, so I'm going to throw away Angel. Uh, no, we don't have to throw away Angel actually. Cuz so we'll use two limitless stamina cuz Angel's only going to cost uh two then. Using Utopia, an X-Men ally enters play. Uh, Exhaust Utopia, ready him up. Um, so we're readied up now. And Angel then can thwart one off of here. I could swing for another three and get rid of supporting actor. So we don't have to worry about that, which is really nice. Uh, Shadow Cat can then thwart for two. So that's good. I still have two tough statuses. I don't want to flip. Down, that's the problem. Um, hmm. <laughs> this card can only take damage from cards with a printed science or fist resources. Huh. I wonder if that includes allies. I assume so. That a fist resource ally. All right, so the problem is we're going to be getting through this deck pretty fast, which actually, you know what, is fine. We got Angel take the block from the Goblin, so maybe we'll just do that. All right, so let's ready up. So we got one. Get the bad cards, we have to shuffle up. I feel like we're doing okay. I feel like we're hanging in there. Rock slide isn't bad. I don't know if I really need him right now. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay. Two, three, four, five. All right, so now I'm on hero side, so I have to do the top three card thing. Oh, he's going to get to the next thing uh fantasy mojo mojo okay so one goes on to there all right cool all right after all the, the encounter deck resets okay all right so one goes on to here he's gonna attack i'm gonna take the hit so it's gonna be one two three four shadows was the last one knocks off my tough 
Now, after a tough card is discarded, um, draw a card. Interesting. Okay. So now an acceleration thing comes on. This gets discarded. This flips over, which says force interrupt. At the start of step three of the villain phase, deal and counter cards, randomly choose one set aside modular set and reveal its show environment. Shuffle the rest of that modular set and place it on top of the encounter deck. Deal the first player two face down encounter cards and flip this card. All right. So this gets shuffled. Uh, let me just mark this that we we did this. We did the attack. We still have to do him. So at the start of step three of the villain phase. All right. So we'll worry about that in one second. All right. So the goblin's going to attack. I'm going to have Angel block this. So Angel's going to exist or still survive. So that's fine. Um, but yeah. All right. So we're at step three. So. All right, at the start of step three of the villain phase, dealing counter cards, randomly choose one says I modular set. All right, we have that. Reveal its show side. Reveal its show environment. Shuffle the rest of the modular set and place it on top of the encounter deck. Hold on. The step of stage three. Reveal its show. Okay, when revealed. Okay. Shuffle the rest... Shuffle the rest of that modular set and place it on top of the encounter deck. Deal the first player two face down encounter cards and flip this card. So is it really three encounter cards? Because we have to deal two. So that goes there. So we deal two face down encounter cards. I always screw this up. Now, hold on. When this... Discard each other setting environment in play. If this card is revealed from the encounter deck, it was not against Surge. So that was discarded. This flips. So this was at the uh, Wheel of Genres was at the start of step three of the villain phase. I think you still get one more bad card, right? I think you would get another one in total. I don't think the two replaces the one. All right. So just glancing through the rules, um, I assume that you still put in a third card like it's two and then a third one so i do feel like we do need to kind of like hustle with with this now all right so we're gonna get four bad cards so let's go top billing heal one character uh damage from each character you control then place two threat on each character you control that's terrible for us right now so we get to heal one damage from each character you control i have none and two threat yeah we're gonna we're gonna rush now i think All right, uh, Blob 3.14 cannot take more than two damage from each attack. Not great. Toad 2.0, force response and a when defeated. After it engages you, place one upgrade you control face down under Toad. Um, one upgrade you control face down under Toad. All right, so the engage, we'll put down the, uh, or, or whatever it was. Um, what was that card? Endurance. Uh, force response. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on now. I, I, I feel like we got to rush now. <laughs> That's all right. All right, so. Yeah, let's let's rush. Oh, wait, in each minion, I forgot. Uh, it gets tough because of Mojo Runner. So, you know, also good. <laughs> what does the next stage have? 18? Oof. All right, let's do. We could swing for three. So let's do it. We'll knock out Mojo into next Mojo. Now, when revealed, place two threat on each friendly character. 
Not ideal, but you know, sure, why not? And then we have to discard the top four cards. Hopefully I've been doing that the whole time. I don't think I've messed up too many times with that. So 14, 16, 18. Okay. So let's do... Um, let's think about this. Let's do, um, hmm. <laughs> we haven't had a tough discarded. We could do two. We could do two. All right. We'll do two, three. Right, a double and a gray double, which doesn't really count, to put Polaris into play. And after she comes in play, we give someone a tough status. We'll give it to me. I like tough statuses. And we can exhaust Utopia to ready ourselves up. Or ready herself up. Um, she comes in with tough. Which might be good. I don't know. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. So what we'll do, <coughs> excuse me, um, can Shadow Cat, Shadow Cat's probably better at doing damage right now. So we can swing for three, four, five, six, seven damage, seven plus for five is uh, not enough, right? Twelve. So, I think what we'll do instead is use titanium muscles. So we generate two resources to play organic steel. And we get that. Okay. We're going to throw away that card for now. We don't need it. Steel fist we'll hold on to. So, let's do two damage. No one has like protection or um, anything that protects the villain now. Okay. Two damage there. We're going to ping the tough off, unfortunately, but we need to do the two damage. I then can swing for three, two, three. It brings it down to 11. We ready up, and I think we can take a lot of these hits and draw some cards from it, or at least take a couple hits, and then use Steel Fist, and hopefully that works. So we're ready up, and we only draw four cards now because of this. So one, two, three, four. Ugh, Nick Fury doesn't help now. Okay. Uh, but we have to discard the top four cards. Two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, man. Four. Oh, because yeah, they're all like the sci-fi cards and stuff. Shoot. So two, four. And then we put another two on now. Ugh. Here we go. All right. I think we're still okay. So he's going to do one damage. I'm going to take this. Uh, do I take this? Or do we let Polaris take this? So I can I can go for three, three, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh! I need to get Nick Fury in the play. And how many more can go on to that? That's twenty-two. So three more can go on to that. I can't let either either of them die. And they're going to all knock off all my tufts. Unfortunately. Oh, shoot. We're going to be just short of what we need. Because I can't get Nick Fury in. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to let it just keep hitting me then. Is what it has to be. Alright, so I'm going to let this hit me. So one... Two damage. Knocks off my tough. Actually, then I get to draw a card. Actually, this might work out. So I draw a card. It's a, it's a great double. Okay. So I can use organic steel to throw another tough on myself. Then the goblin's going to attack. Um, I have to let all of them hit me, basically. Actually, can I pick the order? If I think I can pick the order, then I'm going to have Villainous hit me first. So after activates against you, place one magnetic counter on him. Then choose and discard 
One card from your hand for each magnetic counter on it. Well, that's not great. So magnetic counter, choose and discard. Um, we can get rid of X Mansion. So he's going to attack. I'm going to take this. So it's going to be one, two, place one threat on each character you control. Oh, jeez. I'm running out of threat tokens. Three. Let me remove a bunch of these and put a 10 on here because one more goes on to me. All right, 10 goes on to there. All right, so that knocks off a tough. In doing so, I get to draw another card because this isn't like exhausted or anything. So made of rage, that's fine. So let me just mark these. He went. Toad is going to attack me now. I'm going to get hit, pings the tough off. That's fine. It's Professor X, okay. Uh, that's after he engages you. One damage here, one damage here. So that's two damage onto me, which is fine. Bad card is Curtain Call. Move all threat from a, the character with the most threat on it to the main scheme. No. No. Oh, that stinks. I don't have a way to cancel it, do I? Nope. So the main uh, is mine, right? So that's five. Five would put us just over by two, unfortunately. And then if if we were to continue playing, I've lost, right? But if we were to continue, what I could do is swing for three, which brings us down to eight, six, eight. I could do um, a double... Three, four, to play Nick Fury. Deal four damage to an enemy. Nick Fury can do uh, two damage. Actually, we're coming with tough, so we'll get rid of that. And then Polaris can do two damage. And that would have been the raid, the win. That would have been, that would have been it. Ah. Uh. That stinks. That stinks with the collection. Yeah, it's this was tough. I feel like this was, <coughs> excuse me, borderline fair. Um, I think I, I just played kind of poorly on this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it it wasn't. I don't know. It it was, it was rough, but I feel like it wasn't terrible, right? That's that's kind of, um, my feeling about that. That that. I had a shot, right? Shadow Cat was the right move. Iron Will getting that out sooner would have helped, I think, a lot. Um, it kind of stinks not getting that out. And I should have been more aggressive about a round sooner. If I was if I was a little bit more aggressive, all the minions coming out there just like really kind of messes stuff up with just knocking off my tufts. Um, but we were right there, right? We were right there. I, I feel I feel decent about it. Like I'm not the best Colossus player, um, but I feel like that deck wasn't terrible, right? I feel like it did okay. So that was that was that would have been the win. That would have been the win. But anyway, that's just how it goes. Oh, well. Anyway, still a lot of fun. Still enjoy it. I like Colossus. He's not great, uh, but I do enjoy it. Mojo was fun. Mojo's just tough for this. You need a good thwarter, and Colossus just is not that without Iron Will right away. So, oh, well. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Leave a comment. All that fun stuff. I really appreciate it. And like I said, I think in a week, either next weekend or the following weekend, um, we're probably going to play a different game. I don't know what yet, but but something different. And uh, so if you have suggestions of what I should play, you know, put it, put it down in the comments. Let me know. Um, maybe if we get enough comments, then I'll just, I'll let my subscribers or whatever vote for it, Discord vote for it, or whatever. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So anyway, I appreciate you all being here. Like, subscribe, comment, all the fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>